you guys are at the dueling grounds together. Oh my god, this is it. This is the final duel. <gasps> you guys! and welcome to our final episode of the Realm of Magic. I was planning on doing four episodes in this mini series, but I decided just to do three, just because I don't think that we really need any more. And I do really want to just go ahead and start posting the Royal Family series. I do have an expected release date. I am planning on releasing, or premiering, I guess, the first episode, the Meet the Royals episode on October 6th. So I am so looking forward to that. And in this video, we are going to see if we can actually find and save Corinne's family and the other noble family of Brindleton Bay. So this is our final, final episode and I'm so excited to get into it. So a lot of time has passed between the last episode and this episode. I think it's like a week or something like that, something along those lines. So Corinne's kids now are older. They've turned into toddlers. Corinne's actually on the phone with her husband. She's been talking to her husband and, and trying to like kind of talk to their kids. I mean, her kids are like ages two to like five or something like that, but she's been talking to them a lot as well. Her two little twin girls, Julia and Elena, have already aged up. They're already starting to walk and crawl and she's missing all of that. So she is so determined to get home. She just wants to get home. She just wants to find her family and then return home to her other family. So she is so determined and she's actually become a master spellcaster now. That's her current rank. And the last rank is Virtue. Virtu to us virtuoso that that one for the spellcaster because she has been working so hard and i think people are starting to get a little bit suspicious because like they're like we've never seen someone so determined to l learn magic and to become a master and all that like it usually takes spellcasters years to reach this rank and it only took her a few weeks to reach this so i think they're getting a little bit confused she's almost there too guys so she hasn't learned the ultimate untamed magic spell yet but we're going to go ahead to, uh, not Glimmer Brook, we're gonna go ahead to the Realm of Magic to learn that. So we're gonna bring her there and we're gonna bring King Jared too because King Jared is like, I think people, yeah, like people are starting to get suspicious. I like, I think I should go with you just to make sure everything is okay. Like, I, like, I think you're fine. I just wanna step in if anything happens. Although I don't even know if King Jared could do much if Corinne was in trouble because he's not a spellcaster. So yeah, I guess it's kind of pointless that he's here, but he promised her husband, Prince Louis, that he would would make sure that she's okay. Also, I found an orb of the Sixum Owl. So in the last episode, I asked which type of familiar I should get. Some people said a dog. Some people said I should get like one of like the owl or something like that. I kind of just want the owl because I think you can unbind yourself to a familiar and then you can bind yourself to them anytime you want again. So if Corinne stays a spellcaster, I could do that. So let's bind yourself to the familiar. Oh, we can name it Talon. I feel like that's a good name. I kind of like the name Indigo though because it's like an indigo owl so we're gonna name her owl or her familiar indigo and I want to summon familiar okay so now she's gonna summon familiar I also got a wand because I think that they do add a little bit more power I'm not actually 100% sure I should have her go to spellcasters alley again just to make sure because oh and I also I had her learn a spell where she can teleport spells transport like even though I can already have her teleport with cheats but it's fine we can do that I'm going to have her look at the wands again because yeah so I got this one the wand of the sylvan forest I don't think it's the oh there's a raven one too I didn't know that but I don't think it's the rarest wand but I, I think that the wands actually do add a little bit more power so I want her to be able to have more power if she does I'm gonna have her keep doing some like friendly oh you can offer magical training that's cool but yeah I'm gonna have her do some like friendly duels just because we need her to become a virtuoso. I'm just gonna say virtuous. A virtuous in the rank because she needs to be able to do that otherwise she's not gonna be able to go up against Azula. And so Azula and her are still friends but I think that things are really like people are really starting to get suspicious. I think Azula's starting to get suspicious. I think Azula's also a little jealous because it took Azula years to get to where she is. Also, Azula is the sage of, uh, of mischief magic in case you're just watching this episode now. But okay, so that is kind of increasing her skill just like a little bit more. I don't know who this is, but they don't have like the best relationship. But yeah, Corinne just needs to like do spells. I'm wondering if she should just like, <laughs> like she should just do infernate for everything. I think the fire will go out if it's not on an actual lot. So I think I'm just gonna have her cause fires because I know 
this will have her experience go up. Oh, okay, people are putting it out for her anyway. But um, let me have her go look for some of the sages to talk to as well. Okay, so I see Azula over here, so I'm gonna have her go talk to her. Oh, you guys, Azula looks really angry at Corinne. Oh my god, guys, Azula is yelling at Corinne. Oh no. I think people really are starting to get suspicious. Like, she's up to something. Why is she been like gaining so much power and so much like skill level like I don't understand like she's got to be up to something There's some sort of determination and like ulterior motive behind this Corinne told like a lie to Azula of, like why she was learning it She said it was because of like her ex-boyfriend She like wanted to get back at him and Azula believed him But now she doesn't really think that's what it is and things are starting to get a little bit heated you guys And they're not getting along anymore. They were like best friends like Corinne was able to become like best friends with her Oh, no, Azula's so pissed you guys. Oh my god, Corinne is not at the highest skill level for a spellcaster yet you guys she if azula tried to duel her right now she would not win oh my gosh she's got to get away as fast as possible i think okay corinne's getting a little way too heated because she needs to ask the the sage of untamed magic what the ultimate spell is first before azula gets any more angry at her she, oh my god okay she needs to run away from azula you guys oh wait oh okay the sage of, of untamed magic is right here i don't think she would ask him like right in front of azula okay we're gonna get them away from each other and then i'm going to have her find the sage of untamed magic and you need to ask for the ultimate untamed spell. Okay, Corinne is asking the Sage of Untamed Magic if he's gonna teach her, you guys. Oh, wait, Duplicado. That's the ultimate spell? Is it really? I thought it would have been the other one that I, there was one. Yeah, this one. Deadify. I'm assuming that actually kills someone? Wait, so I asked her to, I asked him. <gasps> she learned it, you guys. Oh my God, what does this do? Does this actually, I need to know what this does. Oh, oh, restore a ghost to their physical form. I thought it was gonna kill someone, so I guess not. Okay, so I guess you can't actually like kill someone. So I think Corinne is just going to have to duel the Sage of Mischief Magic. And if she wins, maybe they'll like lock her up or something like that. Someone said we should like create a dungeon for her, which would be really, really cool. Oh gosh, you guys, Corinne's relationship, a romantic relationship with her husband has gone down so much. I think it's just because they haven't seen each other in so long. That's so sad. Okay, we really need to get her back as soon as possible. What keeps coming out of her ears, you guys? Um, pressurized from ear infection. Oh, how do I get rid of that? Oh my gosh, you guys, Corinne is so close to being at the highest skill level. She just has to practice. I'm just gonna have her set things on fire because things are not going well with Azula right now. And I don't know what's going to happen if Azula finds out like the real reason why she's here. That cannot be good. You guys, I'm just having Corinne set things on fire. She's just using the Infernate spell over and over again. And she's so close. <gasps> you guys. She reached the ma- or not the master rank. She reached the- oh, Trey earned a slinger of spells. How cool. Oh gosh, you guys. Azula found Corinne again. I feel like- oh my god, their- their relationship went down so much. Oh my god, it went down so much. It was not- it was like full before and now they're like enemies pretty much. Maybe Corinne like dropped the picture of her parents and her family and maybe Azula found it. Maybe Azula now knows the real reason why she's here, you guys. She knows that she's his daughter, Victor's daughter. <gasps> Oh my god, you guys! Okay, now I feel like Azula is going to duel her. And you know what? Corinne is at the master rank now, you guys. She's at the master rank. She might be able to do this. Okay. Oh my god, all right, so Corinne, why don't you go ahead and challenge her to a heated duel at the dueling grounds. And then if Corinne beats her, I'm gonna have her use the minion eye spell on Azula. And then that way, maybe she can get Azula to tell her whatever she wants, because I don't think she'll be able to use that spell on her, like, unless she, like, beats her. I don't think that's actually true, but, like, that's what I feel like would be true. So that's what we're gonna have her do, you guys. Oh my god, okay, so she's gonna tell Azula that, look, all right, you know what? We're gonna settle this now. We're going to duel right now. And I don't think Azula knows that but she has become like the highest rank of spellcaster yet. So she, is, well, maybe she can like sense it or something like that. But now she would be like more willing to, to duel her and stuff too. Okay, you guys are at the dueling grounds together. Oh my God, I really hope Corinne wins, you guys. Oh my God, this is it. This is the final duel. This is the duel for her family and to get her family back, you guys. Ah, okay. Oh my gosh, I really hope she wins. Okay, she's totally winning right now. She is absolutely winning. Oh no, okay, all right, that was a tie. Uh, and then her little like familiar isn't really helping behind her, but I guess he's supposed to help. I don't know, but it's super cute. Like this little owl flowing behind her. Okay, Corinne looks like she's doing like, oh no. Okay, it's the ultimate battle, you guys. Corinne, did she win? <gasps> You guys, Corinne just won! Oh my gosh, she just beat Azula. Okay, quick, use the minion eye spell while she's weak. Okay, spells 
and then minionize. And then you can get Azula to do whatever you want if you use the minionize spell, Corinne. Oh. <gasps> Did you do it? Did it work? <gasps> you guys, she can make it. Okay, Azula is now her minion. She can make her tell her. Or she can tell her. No, she can make her tell her where her family is now, you guys. Oh, okay, she moved for a sec. Wait. Did she move? Oh, no, no, she did move, but she's still minionized. Oh, so now she's clapping for her because Corinne is singing, so she's literally her minion, so she can, Corinne can make her do anything she wants. So, I know it does, this is obviously is not an option, but I feel like Corinne is going to make her make the families reappear, and it's not like she can lie, like she has to do whatever she wants, so she is going to make her families reappear, and I feel like to do this, I think that they would just reappear back in their houses, so so oh, Corinne needs to get King Jared over here. King Jared needs to go over here because he wasn't even there when she dueled uh, Azula. So he wasn't even like actually there. So Jared is here going to talk to Corinne and say like, oh my God, what happened? Because now Corinne has to tell her like, she's now mini nice. I just made her make all the families reappear. I need you. Well, I guess Corinne can teleport. Corinne can teleport to Brindleton Bay and she can find out if the families are actually there, you guys. So she's going to tell, oh, Jared's hugging her, telling her she did a good job. And now the sage is here too. They have to tell the sage what happened. So I think Jared is going to, oh, I don't even know what to say. I think Jared is going to talk to the sages, tell them what happened, and I think I... Pr oh, wait. Yeah, okay, so this is Azula now making the families reappear, I feel like. So Azula's making the families reappear now with her magic, and then Corinne is... I think if Corinne leaves, she'll still be minionized and still do whatever, so I think she's gonna make her do whatever Jared says and the sages say, so now Jared has to tell the sage of practical magic, and we're gonna have to get the sage of untamed magic here as well, to tell them what has happened. And I don't think they had anything to do with this. No, 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 Azula, you need to come back here because you're still our minion, so you need to... Oh, no, no, she's not the minion anymore. Okay, no, 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 magic. Okay, you need to do the minion eye spell again. Okay, good. Okay, Azula's a minion again. Oh my God, that scared me. I was like, oh shoot. Okay, so Azula though had done the magic to make the families reappear. So apparently they are here or like they've reappeared back in their homes. So we need to, okay, so Jared's gonna tell Corinne, like go teleport, go to your family in Brindleton Bay, make sure they're there and give me a call if they are and we will take care of this over here. We will watch Azula, make sure everything's okay. So Corinne is going to go to Brindleton Bay, you guys. Okay. Hey, you guys, Corinne has just teleported to her parents' house. This, okay, she can knock on the door. Oh my God, we're gonna see if her family's here, you guys. <gasps> I see people inside. Oh my God, I just saw her sister. <gasps> you guys, her family's back. Her family's back and they are, let's see, let's check her family tree. Her whole family has been restored. They're now back here. Oh my God, all of her siblings, Lady Marjorie, Lord Wyatt, Lord Nathaniel, her mother, Lily, and her father, Victor. So Oh, she needs to go and talk to them and give them a hug. This is her brother, so give him a hug. Oh my gosh. I don't even know if they know what happened. So she's going to have to like, yeah, they're hugging each other. So they are talking and Corinne's like, okay, she needs to talk to like the whole family and be like, what the heck? What happened? Oh, you guys, Corinne has found her father now. She's hugging her father. And I feel like she's like asking like, what happened? Like, do you even know what happened? And he's saying, yes, like we don't remember like the last thing we remember is Azula appearing and he's saying we had Baron Graham and his family over for dinner and then Azula suddenly appeared and he like remembers her from when they were young and so does Lily and suddenly she like threatened to take all of them and like make them disappear if because like she was saying how like powerful she was and then she would like kill the whole family and they try to stand up to her and then she made them all disappear and they were all in this like vortex like other sort of realm not the magical realm like some other realm that is Azula had created. I need Corinne to go say hi to her mother too. And oh yeah, her mother Duchess Lily is right here too, you guys. Um, so she, they were saying like, that's what Azula did to them. And they were like all taken because like the other family was there as well. And Lord ha Lady Hazel, that's Lady Hazel of Brindleton Bay. So that means they're all back too, you guys. Now Corinne's gonna go say hi to her mother and say hi to her. She should probably call King Jared and say that, I guess cell phones work in the realm of magic, but call King Jared and tell him that the family is all back and oh she's gonna hug her mother first you guys so that's basically what happened with Azula and everything and the, like the whole family was taken and that's why they all 
disappeared. No one, like, I guess they just didn't, like, exist because they weren't in, like, the world or anything like that. So Corinne's talking to her mother and telling her what happened and how she had to, like, learn all this magic to, like, find her parents. So she needs to call Jared. Oh, then her sister Marjorie, too. She's calling King Jared, telling him that they're back and that everything's okay and asking what's going on with Azula. And he's saying that she's still minionized. And we told the sages what happened. They had nothing to do with it. This was all Azula. Apparently she was trying to learn untamed magic and un practical magic and all the magics to become like the ruler of the magical realm and to become the like ultimate sage but she wasn't able to do that and they knew she was up to something but they couldn't figure out what so now they're going to lock her up and make sure she's not a sage anymore and the realm is going to be okay you guys everything's gonna be okay everything's gonna be back to normal Corinne she has to decide if she wants to keep her magic or not so we're going to figure that out in episode two of the royal family but now everything's okay yep I heard you and Lord Andrew were good friends now I heard everything was okay with that's uh, Lord Graham or Baron Graham's son the other family that was missing so now everything's okay you guys so yay okay so we're going to end the series here we have found her family Corinne was able to defeat the evil sage Zula and we found out why and what happened with the family and everything too so everything is okay now you guys so thank you for bearing with me I know a lot of you guys were enjoying this but I know some of you guys really just wanted the royal family series to come back i just wanted to do something fun and different so i appreciate you guys like watching this and enjoying this while i have my channel i'm not going to limit myself to just the royal family series i want to do other fun stuff like this too because it is just a lot of fun and when other packs come out too i want to be able to like incorporate them and i thought incorporating the royal family into the story would be a lot of fun too so anyway guys thank you so much i love the series this was so much fun i know it's super short three episode series but it was so much fun like such a little fun mini series so hope you guys enjoyed this if you did give this video a big thumbs up if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!